Hey, this is Tyra Green Regiment. So today we're gonna spend the entire afternoon checking out some different healthy plant-based options at some of these grocery stores. We're gonna fill up our Green Regiment bag here. So let's go check out some things. Oh, actually, by the way, I just thought about it now. This is a perfect time. You have like about two weeks before this challenge starts. Perfect time for you to clean out your refrigerators and your freezers. Get out all of the meat and all of the healthy foods just go ahead, you can go ahead and eat it all that you want until the end of December, because once January 1st starts, you can get ready to rock, all right. We have a nice avocado here. Avocados are awesome, and they're gonna be a staple in this challenge because they're filled with monounsaturated fats, one of the healthiest plant-based options you can have. Now, we also have some brown rice. Now, I personally don't eat brown rice or rice in general. I'm more of a sweet potato type of guy. It just works well for my system, but brown rice is excellent. So make sure that you get yourself some rice or some other, I love sweet potatoes. So I'm gonna to talk to you about sweet potatoes once we get to that section as well. But brown rice is definitely an option for the Green Regiment Challenge. And I also want you to know for this challenge, if you're in a restaurant or if you're in a grocery store and you're a little bit confused as to what's healthy or what's plant-based, just hit us up with a DM. Either I'll respond or one of my staff will respond because I want to make sure that you are thoroughly supported in this challenge. So, all right, check it out. We have some coconut oil here. Now, I love coconut oil. I put coconut oil on top of all of my sweet potatoes. Coconut oil, and what you want to be very, very conscious of is the coconut oil I don't want you to get if you're going to use it to eat with is organic, unrefined coconut oil as opposed to the coconut oil here which is refined. So this coconut oil would be more for just your basic cooking. But this coconut oil here, you can cook with, you can also eat with. Now, just so you know, coconut oil is what's known as MCT, which is a medium chain triglycerides. And what MCTs do is they simply put, help promote fat loss and also are known as great fuel for our brains. So look at these delicious looking pancakes, but no, they're not gonna be a part of the challenge because pancakes are normally made with eggs, and buttermilk. And plus, we know they're not healthy, so we're not gonna do pancakes for this plant-based challenge. But let's see what else we have. Hemp seeds. I love hemp seeds. You're gonna see me using hemp seeds in all of our smoothies, even some of these delicious desserts. Hemp seeds are awesome, so make sure you pick up some. All right, so we're in the produce section right now. And that's where this challenge lives because just about everything in the produce section, we can have. Of course, except the turkey and bacon cob salad. No, that's not plant-based, we can't do that. So every grocery store that you go to, you should have at least one section that has some plant-based meats. So you see here, we have the black bean burger. We're gonna give this a try, or at least an alternative. We have some meatless meatballs. So the interesting thing is, you'll think all of this stuff is 100% plant-based, right? But then you pick this up, and it says nuggets made with plants, which sounds awesome. But then as you read the ingredients, pea protein, bamboo fiber, ah, egg white. Can't do this for the Healthy Plant-Based Challenge. So we're in the vegan section of the sweets and desserts, right? And I'm thinking, okay, this is awesome. A bunch of vegan desserts. Now, for myself, I prefer to make vegan desserts at home, plant-based desserts at home. But hey, if you're out at the store, you want to get something to try, why not? But the point of me talking about this is, I pick up a package of pound cake, and there's buttermilk, and there's egg whites, pretty much non-plant-based ingredients in here. So listen, check the labels. No matter what store you're in, no matter what aisle or section you're in, check the labels just to make sure it is what it claims to be. I almost missed exactly what I came here looking for. This is the Beyond Meat section. Now, I love Beyond Meat because, see, listen, I'm all about the macro density of the foods that I'm eating, especially when it comes to plant-based foods. And Beyond Meat patties, if we just check out the macros here, 20 grams of protein per patty. Check that out. And they have a lot of different options. You have the Beyond Meat patties. You have the Beyond Beef, which is Beyond Meat, same company, but Beyond Beef, which means that you can make the burger however you want to make it. You can make uh, crumbles with this. You can make meatballs with this. Let's try something else here. Beyond Sausage. Let me tell you something. 
gone are the days when plant-based options were null and void. They are everywhere. And you know what? I'm just going to buy these because I have to taste them and give you guys my honest opinion. So yeah, I'm spending a lot of money, but hey, it's either you pay now or you pay later for your health. That's just what it's all about. So we have Light Life here. Now this is Light Life plant-based ground beef. But of course, it's plant-based beef, right? So you're noticing here, there are a few companies who are jumping into this plant-based meat market. So we have the ground beef, we have the plant-based sausage, and we have a bratwurst. Now, I don't know, some of these flavors are not really for me, but hey, if you like bratwurst, then you might as well give it a try. This is my go-to. Not necessarily this brand, but ground turkey. Anyone who knows me, anytime you meet me, I tell you. Ground turkey is pretty much the main non-plant-based food that I do consume. But on this Green Regimen Elite Challenge, it's all about the plant-based options here. And I look at this. And we have a plant-based ground meat option. We have plant-based meatballs here. Plant-based patties. Let me tell you something. Gone are the days when there's no options. We have nothing but options here. So I'm going to buy everything and I'm going to give you my honest opinion on how they taste. Right, so we have another plant-based section here. Come inside, take a look. Now, you know what's interesting here is I've been looking for a substitute for eggs, and now we have a few here. Never seen this before, so it's the first time with you. It's called Just Egg. Then we have a, another company here, Follow Your Heart, Vegan Egg. Gonna give it a try, why not? See how it tastes. You know, what I want you to do is I want you to think about these type of foods as an alternative to just eating rice, beans, lentils. You know, we can break up the monotony of eating plant-based by having some options that might taste a little bit like the meat options, but are 100% plant-based. What else do we have here? We have a field burger made of barley, fresh carrots, and celery. You know, this stuff is interesting. And of course, the challenge is only 31 days, so it's not very long. Seitan. I do like seitan. This is something I would definitely eat. Now, seitan is made of wheat. It's a wheat protein. So if you do have an issue with wheat, you're not going to want to eat seitan, but this is something that I'm going to at least try. As you can tell, I'm buying a lot of these foods. I'm going to give them a try because I'm just that type of person. Let's see here. And now, tofu. I'm not a big tofu eater, but I probably for this challenge, I'm going to be eating some tofu. So, a lot of tofu options here. Tofu's been around forever, it seems. But I just love the fact that now we have the, the Beyond Meat pea protein options and just various options like that. I mean, there's even smart dogs are called. Not hot dogs, but smart dogs. I won't be eating these, but hey, if you have some kids and you want to trick them into eating something healthy, that would be a fantastic start. Let us not forget the cheese. Because you know what? People love their cheese, right? So, various options of vegan cheese. Plant-based cheese. All the cheese that you please. Alright, so that concludes our fantastic day of searching for plant-based options. There's a lot of them out there. You'll be surprised if you just take the time to look for them. But this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to give these options to try. I'm going to be honest and tell you how I like them, that they taste good, if I think you should try them. Hey, this is what it's all about. It's trial and error for both me and for you. So what I want you to do is follow our stories, follow all of our posts, make sure that you just watch everything and listen because I want you to get ready for this challenge prior to the first. I don't want you to wake up on the first and say, okay, I'm ready because you won't be ready because you didn't plan. So I'm doing a lot of planning for the both of us. So let's do this. Remember, if you're at a restaurant, if you're at a grocery store and you're wondering if something is plant-based, don't feel insecure about DMing us and asking us because there's no question out there that is dumb and doesn't need to be answered. Trust me, we all have a lot of questions about this. This is new to a lot of us. Vegans, plant-based people out there, if you have ideas for us, please let us know. All right, we'll see you soon.